Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Well, I have the fabulous Karen Griffiths in. Now, Karen Griffiths works for us in our office. She does customer service and warehouse duties. She also, and I think if you had a little bit of a wobble, then it's because John banged the table. <laughs> <laughs> so by the way, John's in the kitchen. Hi, John. Hello, hi everyone. Yeah, don't bang and get John, everybody went like that then. <laughs> Yeah, so, so Karen looks after our warehouse, she looks after customer services, lots of you know her who come in and do their click and collects. And Karen is also a baker, we met many years ago, didn't we? We did. And we, uh, Karen first came to our um, stall at one of the cake shows, was it the Manchester the one? The first one. Was it Manchester yeah. or Birmingham? Birmingham? Manchester. Ah, yes. there you go. And I've got to know a lovely mother, Iris, who is a, a very good active community member. So hello, Iris, because I know she'll be watching. Hi, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you say hello. Do you call her Ma? No, well, I, I call her a, a lot of things besides Ma, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, two fabulous ladies. So Karen is a home baker and tonight, what I've said to the office staff, they've all got to come and do a live show a little bit. So they're all shaking and really what I want you to do is make sure you get those thumbs up, love hearts, positive comments, all for Karen tonight. I'm going to put the gaffer tape on and not talk and if you believe that, you'll believe anything. <laughs> John just smiled on me then and thought, really? Yeah. Don't want. To be fair, you do, you do whitter on a bit. I do whitter on a bit, yes I do. So anyhow, so Karen is going to be baking you a fabulous cake. Well, she's already baked it, but she's going to show you her recipe. Okay, slightly different to a normal Victoria sponge cake. She's going to buttercream it, and she's going to show you how to apply some of the edible imaging. So, because uh, not a lot of you know that we do edible images. So let me, are you ready, Karen? Absolutely. I am, right, well, I'm going to go through this. All right. Do you want to go and get yourself Absolutely. organized? Yes, thank you. Pretty good. Right, okay, so just let me tell you a few things that's going on first, just while the audience is building. So, John, how are we doing at the moment? Yeah, we've got uh, 120 people so far, which is Fantastic. great. Fantastic, goody good. Right, so don't forget, Thursdays, it's our bake Back to Basics baking, and all I want you to do is make sure you like and share this live. Lots of people out there can't bake, want to bake, tried to bake, done it wrong, and we're just here giving you the way that we do things. And tonight, Karen is doing her version, because as we all know, every single person has a different way, the way their mum showed them, the grand showed them, there's no right or wrong way, it's what makes you happy. And tonight is Karen's way, which we're really excited about, aren't we Karen? Yes. Yes we are. Yes we are. She's really excited. So just a few new things in the Sugar and Crumbs shop. Um, FMM have brought out this new um, animal print cutter and it's got, don't know which camera you're on there John, can you see? Which one, yeah, this one? Not, no, no, the one that you this wear, one? just where you are. Okay, Perfect. so there's three different types of cutters on there. And it does three different designs. Let's see which way around we're. Are we That's the right it. way? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so you can see the three different designs. Great for a cake, great for cupcakes. And you know what? I'll have a play with this and maybe we'll give it a go. But they're in stock. Um, cake testers are back in stock and Karen's going to be using this one tonight. So they're always a handy little tool. You know, for £1.49, you can't loan. It's always handy to have a cake tester. And Karen is going to be using a range of prints. Look at her there with her lovely husband, John. And I don't know whether John watches Facebook or not, but there you go, He's John. Is he watching it tonight? Is he watching yes. it tonight? But he's just chuffed to have his mug all over <laughs> Facebook, isn't he? <laughs> Especially, last time. especially in a nice big club out. <laughs> I think my John would kill me. <laughs> we anyway. just lost the viewer. <laughs> so basically, we're just going to show you. We do edible imaging and we do personalised as well. So this was just to give you an example of a personalised. And um, these are on sugar sheets, okay? Sugar icing sheets. They're not on wafer paper, so they're delicious. They're a vanilla flavour, okay? And this one is um, a seven and a half inch round. They don't do a full eight inch because you need your edges. So they just pop it on the top there. Um, just a couple of stripes. I think Karen's gonna play with these tonight. Um, underneath my picture. Underneath the picture, the ones you're gonna play with. Turn it up, turn it on. Oh, look at you. So Karen's just gonna play with these tonight, just to give you an idea. So these strips here are for um, just going around a round cake. I think, I don't, what are they? Are they eight inch, what are they? 10 inches them, aren't they? 10, 20, 30. Put them all together. Well, that's a use on that cake there. I think I've used two and a half. Yeah, so yeah. So I think it goes to a 12 inch cake. And um, just to give you an idea, really, of some of the designs, there's loads of designs. Cupcake toppers, look how lovely they are for Valentine's Day. I love him. Look at him, isn't he cute? You drive me wild, John. 
He's flummoxed, he has no idea what to say, he drives me oh, freaking nuts. I can say you drive me my wild as well. <laughs> there you go. So lots of lovely designs, it's great. And Karen's going to open these just to show you how these work as well. She's not going to use all of them, she's just basically opening a packet just to show you how they work. They're great. And uh, just let me pop um, a cake over to show you what these are. This is by Sugar Art and they're edible images. And I will tell you, they taste delicious. They also do a range of ribbons to go with them too. So let me just show you an example. Da, 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 John. So this is our couples one. So if you want to do a plain cake, okay, you can use the sugar art range and they're called plaques, okay? And there he is, John is just wobbling the table yet again. Is it Karen's fault? Karen's fault. Okay, <laughs> sorry everybody if you thought there was an earthquake. <laughs> I'll sort them out shortly. <laughs> Carl, got, Carl got a new table for the laptop. It was, yes. cheap, it was cheap in the sale, it didn't come with all the bits, hence why it's wobbling. Yeah, it is actually on a new table, and we asked Maria and Yin from the office to build it. So <laughs> we're not quite sure what's gone wrong, but it's got a lovely wobble on it. <laughs> so basically, you know, this is quite a simple effect, but it's effective, isn't it? Um, you'll see that there's ribbon there. I don't know whether you can zoom in on this, John, can you, without wobbling the table? The ribbon on the bottom? Mm. And this is, well, well, basically there's a ribbon on here and this is all sugar as well, so it's all edible. Now this, this particular ribbon comes in four strips. So you get a big strip and then you can split it into four. So these are the singles, so you could do a double row, a triple row or a quadruple row. Um, fantastic. We've also got it there, you can see the unicorn one. I think we've got, um, I think I called it Pam Blam Bow, I don't know, something like that. But there's a few different ones on there, have a look. They are great and they're tasty as well. So Sweet Stamps is back in, in boxes, presentation boxes. So they're all back in stock. Yeah. So what I was going to tell you is just in December, we started our sale. Basically, John and I decided to have a complete clear out and the clear out is going very well, but the sale does end on Sunday. So the ice and sugar sale has already ended. If you want to go to the clearance box, I would grab your bargains now because I am slowly taking things back out and putting them back to full price. So you've got till Sunday. There'll be a couple of things left in there, but basically things are going back in and we're starting to bring new things in into the warehouse. So stocks beginning to fill back up again, bringing stuff back in and um, slowly it's February. It's when we all start eating again, isn't it? What do they call it? Dry January, don't eat in January. Credit card bills in January. Well, February is coming and it's all going to come back in. Okay, and um, what else do I want to tell you? Let's get this out of the way. Those out of the way. I'll put those there for you, Karen. Thank you. And then I just want to say a lovely thank you to this fabulous lady called Alison. So, Alison Posey Sedgwick. Sedgwick, that's it. Alison Posey Sedgwick. Look, she's done this for us. So this was a collection of photographs that we had done for our office. And then Alison has basically just cut through them all, put them all together and um, done this for us. For here, for in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. So I'm gonna find some space, pop it on the wall. But how lovely, it's great, isn't it? So I'll just pop it on there so you can have a little look. And doesn't John look happy? How many of you think he looks happy? Oh, lovely, happy chap he is. And Karen's there, she's laughing and smiling, right, so that, is Maria. That's, that's as happy as it gets. Is that as happy as it <laughs> yeah. gets? Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, there you go. So thank you, Alison, what a lovely gift. Can you get the um, boxes for the sweet stamp on their own? Right, I knew that question was going to come up. So, okay, so I have chased Amy about the boxes. She's got a massive difficulty, it's like everything. She's um, due to customer request about people wanting boxes and presentation boxes for their sweet stamps. She's now put all her sweet stamps into presentation boxes. And what I wanted to show you was, is the lettering. The lettering you used to get in two pads. So you'd get an uppercase pad and a lowercase pad. So I'll just put this down here. So I don't know if you can see that, John. But now the uppercase and the lowercase is on one big pad together. Yeah? Can you see that clear enough? Yep. 
okay? So she's done that with as many sets as she possibly can. Uh, the numbers come individually for the bigger sets, but the issue she's got now is she's having to have these manufactured. Um, they are being manufactured out of the UK. So try and have them manufactured out of the UK. It's like with every country. They don't know who you are. You've got to pay up front. Then it's very heavy product. So the cheapest way to get it in to keep price down is on the ship. On the ship, it's on there for three months. By the time it gets in, you've used them all. You need to order a load more. So unless you've got that ship coming in and Amy can't send these out anymore without the boxes. So she is trying her hardest to get them in as fast as she can. So she has said, do bear with her. She knows that you want to buy them. And as soon as they are available to buy, they will be on the Sugar and Crumbs site. But just not at the moment. She really thought they'd be in sooner. But everybody loves sweet stamps. They've gone crazy worldwide. So she's got to get them. So, um, so she's on it. Okay, I promise you faithfully. Any other questions, John? Uh, no, not at the moment. Alison, who did the pictures on, is here watching tonight. Ah, fantastic, Alison. Yeah, hello. She just mentioned that I had a plain shirt on this time, so. It was easier. <laughs> I'm glad to see that that took me a week less to do. Well, our other picture is on the wall behind John there. So anyway, he had a, a check shirt, a very tiny check shirt, and took Alison hours to do. So, but thank you very much. So I am going to get off. And I'm going to leave you with it, Karen. Thank you. Oh, and one more thing. Um, the live on Monday is myself. Um, Maria has asked me to make, it's chocolate day on Monday, so she's asked me to make a rich chocolate cake. Then that's what I'm making on Monday. And I am in on Thursday as well. And I can't remember what I'm making on Thursday. I think it's red velvet cake. I'm it sure is. that's I'm what sure it is. It's I'm sure it is. And, and and the last thing, and I will promise I'll go in a minute, classes. Okay. So because we do this um, learning experience and everything else here in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, we also have classes and, and tutors coming here into the classroom. And um, it's been brought to my attention that people want to come on classes, but you know, it's January and money's tight and everything else. So I have now opened up um, an option, uh, a payment plan. So what that basically means is you pay a deposit. Okay, so let's say I've done it this weekend with Michael, Michael Lewis Anderson. His class is £200, you pay £50 now, £50 next month and £50 until it's paid. So you've got four payments of £50. So basically you will have completed the class and still owe us money. So John and I have opened up that facility for everybody. It's very much a trust facility. There's no interest or anything like that. So if you want to go on any classes, do give Laura a call in the office. The number is on the website. Give her a call, book on, pay your deposit, and let's see you in class, learning all these fabulous techniques that these tutors can show you. Okay? Right, Karen, everybody get out of the way. I'm gonna make myself a brew. You need it after all that talking. <laughs> I've gone to get the gaffer tape. <laughs> right, so tonight I'm just going to do, it's back to basics. It's back to basics, it's for home bakers who you can't do loads of flowers, you don't know what to do with icing. So I've just done a plain Victoria sponge, I've put the uh, photo cake strips and the topper on it, I've dipped some strawberries, I've made some marzipan hearts, just to fill it up. I mean, my mum's watching, she'll say, I have got loads on this cake, I have. I've put everything on it to show you everything that can go on a cake. Usually I wouldn't put so much on, but I just wanted to show you what can go on, how it can stick and how it can look when it's on. So I will move this one out of the way so Carol can then eat the strawberries. <laughs> Tell them John's had his share. <laughs> I'm coming back. Yes, please. Uh, 140 please, I'm doing what you said, low and slow. <laughs> so, I will make the sponge first, because while the sponge is cooking, I will then cover my board and show you how to do the marbling effect. So, my recipe is one, I mean, I used, I've baked with my mum for years and years, but this was when I got married, John's mum just happened to give me a recipe, which I tried, I thoroughly liked it, and I've kept it for 31 years, and it's 100 grams of butter, 100 grams of sugar, and I do 125 grams of self-raising flour. I don't use any baking agents with it, and I always use two eggs per 100 gram. I don't weigh my eggs, I'm sorry. I know other people weigh their eggs now, I never do. So, I will start by mixing the 125, the 100, no, I'm doing a 300 gram mixture today. 
So I'm doing a 300 gram mixture and that will do, that will fill me two 8 inch deep Victoria sponge tins which I've got, these are deeper than what you usually have so I use two of these. Rather than using the sugar today I'm actually using the flavoured icing sugar which I found works really well in my cakes and I'm using the white chocolate and raspberry flavour, I'll be using that through the cake and for the icing sugar as well. So all I do is I really whip the butter up, usually it was butter, if it was the sugar as well, I'd whip both together, but as it's icing sugar, I'm only going to whip the butter really, really well. I saw somebody ask about these a moment ago, about the dates on them. The dates on them, these are best before April 2021 and even that if they're sealed, they're not going to go off because it's, it's uh, all sealed, it's fresh, so they will stay over but they have got a good year on them yet. So they're all right for you, that's good, it's probably the seal. nicely now. So I have got my 300 grams of white chocolate and raspberry icing sugar to go in in a moment. Just while Karen's doing that, we do have a like and share uh, competition going each week. So if you share this live, uh, you enter a prize draw to win a £25 voucher. So Carol will be doing a draw later for last week's and then anybody who shares this will be entering the draw, which will be drawn next Thursday. Is it butter or margarine you're using? I've used straw, I always use straw margarine when I'm baking a cake. And I always just use, I use butter for the butter icing. I found straw works really well in the cake mixture. And could you just, could you, would you mind just repeating the Recipe or yeah. ingredients. This, I'll just turn this down a little bit. For this cake, to make two, two this size, this is an eight inch tin, and it's quite a deep one as you can see. So for this size, I've used 300 grams of stalked margarine, 300 grams of flavored icing sugar, 375 grams of self-raising flour, and six eggs. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's under Karen Griffiths Victoria Sponge, from what Maria was saying. I'm just going to add the icing sugar now. Now I add the eggs little bit by bit. Now don't worry if it looks like it's going to start to curdle. I just wait till all the eggs added and I just put a tablespoon full of uh, the self-raising flour in and that just helps it along until it decides to put all the flour in.
Right, Lindsay, Lindsay's just shared the recipe for your cake, Karen. So thank thanks, you, Lindsay, for thanks, that. I'm just going to add the flour now. And just while Karen's doing that, is everyone aware that we have a few uh, demonstration events on tour over the next few weeks. Uh, we're working alongside Crafter's Companion and we will be up in Newton Aycliffe on Friday the 7th of February. We will be in Chesterfield on Saturday the 8th of February and we'll be in Evesham on Saturday the 15th. We're doing two demos per day, 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Uh, it's only five pounds per uh, demo. It's a two hour session that Carl's uh, fronting. Uh, so you can actually book, if you go onto the Crafters Companion website, click on their stores, they've got like a booking section where you can book demos and you'll find us under those dates. So that's Crafters Companion, Newton A. Cliff, 7th of February, Chesterfield, 8th of February, and Evesham on the 15th of February. The sessions are being booked up really quite quickly, so if you are in those areas and would like to come and see us, then get booked in as soon as possible. So that's all mixed up now. So I'm just going to uh, decant it into my two baking tins. Love in the silence, I'm not I know, talking. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> it's all nerving me, Carol, you're not speaking. <laughs> yes, and Karen, you're just using the flavoured icing sugar instead of caster sugar, is that right? It is, and it's, it's like for like, so I've used the 300 gram of the white chocolate and raspberry icing sugar rather than uh, caster sugar. So there's no caster sugar in there at no, all? No, not at all. Right, so I'm just going to put those now. I tend to bake them on 140 degrees because I found uh, through experience and through working with Carol that low and slow works better. They don't get a big dome on the top. Just and like you, know, Karen, you've learned lots of things, haven't you, oh, while you've been with us? Absolutely, I and, mean... And there's uh, tips and techniques that yeah. you've learned, that I've learned off of the people in the kitchen, yeah. and you've let them use them and gone home, and they work, don't they? They do work, yeah. Just like you're smoothing the cake tonight. Well, I'm smoothing the cake tonight, I, I learned, we're using the palette knife with the hot water, that was in one of your classes, mm -hmm. and it was just, it's little yeah. tips that you pick up all the time, and they do get stuck, and you suddenly at home, you think, I know how to do that. And that's what's so good about the yes. Facebook Lives. Right, I'm just going to put these in the oven, then I'll be back. Right, Paula said that she's got her ticket booked for Newton Aycliffe, so looking forward to seeing you there. So you got a present for you as well, Carol? No, I should have. Oh, oh. good. <laughs> um, um, do you want to just... Uh, Karen, are you using tub stalk or block? I use tub stalk. Oh, thank yeah. you. Do you want to just pop me on, Chuck? There. You are on? Oh, all right, all right. okay, yeah. Um, Crafters Companion is a fantastic store. It's a crafting store, so if you haven't heard of it and you like doing crafts, certainly go and get check out their store. If you want to come to one of our um, classes, demonstrations that we're doing, go to the website, Crafters Companion. At the top, it's got store. Click that tab at the top, okay, then scroll down, and then you'll come down to their three different stores. 
in their stores look for these dates so you need the 7th of february which is a friday there's two classes the morning session is full so you won't see that you won't see it's there the afternoon session isn't full yet and i would love to see you there it's five pound a session okay i can have 20 people in the class and it will be a nice little class you're not actually doing anything yourself i'm actually doing a tutorial in front of you i'm showing you how to make perfect buttercream using the russian piping tips and if there's anything you want to buy you can actually buy there as well and it's also a good way for john and i Laura and Maria are going to be there as well to get to see you in store. So it'd be lovely, a nice little catch up. I do know that the Monday store, uh, the, the Friday morning one, sorry, filled out straight away. And I think the uh, Friday afternoon one is about quarter full when I looked last week. I may surprise myself and be a bit more, I'm not sure. Um, then on the Saturday, we're going to Chesterfield and Karen is coming with us. So um, Karen is coming with us there. We've got two demonstrations there, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Again, a five pound um, uh, ticket and I'm almost sure Danielle Crouch is coming as well. Um, I haven't responded yet, but she sent me a little message and go, just uh, guess where I've just booked. So I think that's she's going to be there. So it's a great opportunity to meet Danielle as well. And um, and lovely for all you people over there. With which the, the Tasha Porter who's going to be in Evesham. All right, super. And then the following week, where are we going? John, the following week? Evesham. Is that the following week, Evesham? That's, a, that's, that's Saturday the 15th. Yeah. And Evesham, <laughs> for, is, Evesham is in Worcestershire. Right. Which is about 45 minutes south of Birmingham. Right, okay. So that's where we're going to be on Saturday the 15th. I don't know whether Karen's going to come along again. I don't know if I'm available, but I will <laughs> check my diary. But if not, it will be John and I. John's going to be at all the events. Viv then, Goddard will be in Chesterfield. Right, fantastic. Yeah, let us know if you're going, are you going to be there? And you know what, and see if your friends want to come along with you. But, this, but the store is going to be amazing for you to have a look around. I think every store has a coffee shop and they've got a lovely demonstration area. It really is a lovely demonstration area. Um, on, the Friday, on the Thursday the 6th, we are doing a Facebook Live with the owner of Crafter Companion, Sarah Davies, and um, that's a four o'clock afternoon session. So I am going live then, and then as I say, we're in the uh, Newton Acliffe Newton Acliffe store. Acliffe, yeah. That's so, the store next to their headquarters. Yeah, and we're very excited, and we'll be very excited to see you there and get your support, which is amazing. And I've just had a lovely email, which is why I was quiet, reading a lovely email there of somebody who's going to come and see us at one of them. So I was really quite excited about that as well. So um, I'm going to get Karen yeah, back on the gate. I'm going to read your emails and stay quiet. I was quiet. <laughs> I was going to come in with my gaffer tape on. I was going to wear gaffer tape tonight for a joke and then rip it off. And then John said I'd look as though I was be doing a chin wax. So maybe it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> out the way. Right, we've got a really good audience. We've got about 300 people watching at the minute. So anybody who is new, or just in general, let us know where you are. It's always nice to know um, whereabouts in the world people are. Obviously, most of you are based in the UK and know you're from north, south, east and west. But also, it's also good to know those people who are overseas and watching in at diff on different time zones. So please, let us know where you are. Right, I'm going to show you. I'm going to marble my cake board. So I'm going to show people, a lot of people know how to marble. This is what I've learned, again, in other classes. So just get to Jack. Sorry, Jackie's just asked. We're doing a Facebook Live at these events. Uh, no, we're actually doing a Facebook Live with Crafters Companion on Thursday the sixth of February, and then we'll be doing the demos then in the stores. We might do little impromptu lives, but they won't be like a full session. So I've cut a little, a little bit of a groove there. I'm just putting a little bit of colour in along the groove because I don't want it to be too bright. Well, straight away, Sarah, has let us know. It's good morning in uh, in Australia, on the Sunshine Coast. Well, it's certainly not the Sunshine Coast here. It's certainly not. All you do is you just roll it into a sausage and you fold it over so they both meet in the middle and you just keep rolling because that will bring the paste through, the, the colour through the paste, but you don't want it to colour it all because you want it to be streaky so it has the marbled effect. We've got Elaine from Dundee who's watching on YouTube. So also, yes, hello to everybody on YouTube. We do tend to forget about the people on YouTube. Know, so so sorry, but hello to everyone. Thank you for joining us. 
As you can see, the colour's starting to come through now. We've got Sheila in Earthlingborough. Earthlingborough? Well, I've got to say, I've got to say, there's not many places in the UK I haven't heard of, but I've not heard of Earthlingborough. No. So, Sheila, whereabouts is that? So when you get it to a marbling effect that you like, which that is looking perfect now. I cheated last night, I just rolled it straight onto the board, but I'll do it properly here because my boss is watching me. <laughs> <laughs> she's not, she's messing about your phone. You know, you know that I'm still close enough to smack you in the Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> So as you can see, only doing the colour like that and like, you get quite a nice marbling effect. I know Carol said it's a non-stick board but I still like me. Yeah but you don't mean to you know. I had to, it was sticking. <laughs> I had to. It was sticking. <laughs> Must be the strength that I do rolling. What do you out. think of our rolling pin, Karen? That's I got a lovely feel to I it. I love this rolling pin, I really Isn't do. It? Yeah. Smash yeah, it. I love it. And the selling out mic, I don't know what. <laughs> that would be great. I just like the look, the look of it. I think it's just it lovely, feels isn't nice. It? Yeah. And you're just being rude again now. Eh? You're just being rude. I'm not being rude whatsoever, Karen. I was just asking you what you thought about the feeling. Like John's in the kitchen. Do not say sort of things like that when John is in the kitchen. <laughs> Now he goes very red. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to be talking. Stop encouraging me. That was nearly. That was the microphone. Sorry. <laughs> is, this, is this kitchen on the slant? <laughs> Sorry, John's got to get past the wobbly table. <laughs> well, I have got past. He was laughing at me before because I couldn't get past the wobbly table and had to walk around <laughs> behind you. They missed it because Sean put the other camera on. <laughs> right, so they always do say as well, just check the other side, because you see the other side now has got an even better marbling effect than what the top did. So I'm going to use this part for the top of my cake. That's a nice thing, having the two options, isn't yes. it? Yes. We, we sell the board as well. We do sell the green board, don't we? We do. Yep. We sell two types of green board. We sell the cool pit one, which is, um, which is very similar to this. Uh, very similar to this, and we sell the sugar and crumbs one. Um, I think the cool pit one is 600 by 500, and I think the sugar and crumbs one is 600 by 497, or something like that. It's not much in it, anyhow. Um, I'm out of stock of the sugar and crumbs one. They will be, they're will they ordered, and they will be back in next week. Oh, Earthlingborough is near Wellingborough in Northamptonshire. I was going to say, where's Wellingborough? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so that was Karen has told us that. So Karen, did you actually know that or have you just been on Google Maps? <laughs> I was to do Google Maps. I, I, I had no idea. Karen had to say that marbling is beautiful. Isn't that marbling beautiful, everyone? Isn't it? I love marble balls. Yeah, I just, I just they're better than the plain ones, but it just gives it that whole new... Do you want some ribbon for it? So, take out yeah. ribbon for it. so there is my lovely marbled board. Oh, sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. there we go. That's it, perfect. Thank you. So we're going to get some right for it. That should be all right. Should be all right. I bet you show them how to do this, Karen. I'm just going to give the job to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Karen, it's your do. Well, we're up, to, we're up to 420 viewers. <laughs> well Thank, done. Thanks, Mum. She's got every relative watching. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, they've come to support you at Sugar Crumbs, which is amazing. We always have oh. such fabulous audience, and it's great. It and is. it's so lovely on these Thursday nights yeah. as well, when it's just simple, easy baking. Scissors. 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 I love it how on the lives everyone is so supportive anyway. Yeah. We've got a, we've got a great community group. Right, so I've cut the ribbon to set around the board and I'm just gonna use a bit of Pritt stick. Go on, Carol. 
Because they got me uh, uh, a I new didn't one. mess it up like that. <laughs> There's a kitchen roll. Whoever put ribbon on last. So we've got Michael Lewis Anderson watching. Michael is here in February doing some classes and they are booking up fast. Carol, are you able to give us an update on those? Yes, I will do, actually. Okay. While you're doing that, Karen, we can yep. distract a few people. So you can, can stay there. Yeah. No, no, you can stay there and show them. So Michael Lewis Anderson is actually doing a royal icing class. Now he was only doing the one class and then he told me that he was here for six days. So I thought, what am I going to do with him for six days? And if Michael's watching... Yeah, he is watching. <laughs> there you go. I've now booked Michael for three days. <laughs> Keep him busy. <laughs> so Michael is arriving with us on Thursday. Let me just think of the date. It's 22nd, yeah. 20th, the 20th of February. Now that night on the live, I'm going to put Michael to work straight away because he's actually a professional chocolatier. So on that night, he's actually going to do a demo on chocolate, which is great. So he's going to show you tempering. I don't know. Lots of things he'll show you. Anyway. I'm not quite sure yet what he's going to do, but uh, I'm not even sure if he knew that he was going to be doing that live so well done Michael <laughs> so we're going to get him on the first live then then he's got a class on the Friday now I've got four students in on the Friday class so that means I've got six places left if anybody wants to take a class on a Friday I'm taking a 50 pound deposit now you pay 50 pound the end of February end of March end of April you're going to learn super techniques about royal icing there's nothing Michael doesn't know he is the cake king of royal icing, makes the most amazing stuff. And it doesn't matter if you're a beginner, he's got the patience of the same, and he's gonna show you lots of things. And he's even gonna show you how to make your own monogram in class, which we're very excited about. Wow. The Saturday class is full, um, so I cannot squash anybody else in there. And we've also got availability on the Sunday class, so I may as well keep him going, and I keep him busy. And then on the Monday, he's going to do a live um, of a demo of Royal Ison on the Monday. And I'm actually having a week off that week, you'll be amazed to know. I have promised my children that I'm going to turn my phone off, not take my computer away with me. It's my birthday week and we're going away. So Laura is your host with Karen and Maria. Absolutely. So, We've got to keep him under control. Three musketeers. <laughs> so I'm going to make him that tired that by Monday he will be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to get back out of the way. So right. you've covered that board, Karen. So I've covered the board. I've done the ribbon. And that looks fantastic. Oh, like that. Put it flat under there. So there you go. So then I'm going to put that to one side now because we're going to get on Is with the cake. It on yeah, yeah. Fine. All right. Sorry, I'm a bit quick at that. I'll just have you. Karen Naylor, lucky Michael doing all that work, Carol cracking the whip. I've got to keep him busy for, for, for four days. <laughs> Laura Marshall says she's looking forward to it. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, sorry, Carol, just want to lift the board. Just tell me how get it fixed. I just remembered I had to do it like that and then lift it off. Yep. Uh, use one of those. Yep. Right, so I have my Victoria sponges. Now, as you can see, one's a bit skew with. Well, it, it, they do go skew with sometimes. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to level it off. So just put it flat, hand on the top, put it flat, and then just do the knife. It's a great knife. That's it's a, it's a PME knife. Is it Tom? No, it's a, it is a PME, and it's a, it's the cake lever. It's a ten inch. PME cake levelling knife is absolutely brilliant. I'll go and put it in the Facebook Live must have. Sean, do you want to tell them about Facebook Live must haves? Right, um, Facebook Live must haves. You'll see that there's a comment pinned to the top of the comments I'll put all the that says there as well. that says buy everything here, and that should have all the equipment and all the ingredients that you see on the live each week. So tonight we'll have all the things that Karen is using. Apart from the knife, apparently. Apparently, yeah. I don't think Cameron realised I was going to use the knife, but I just saw the cake was a bit skewed with, so... Right, I have my buttercream. Now, my buttercream is just our usual buttercream recipe that we use, which is 250 grams of butter to 500 grams of flavoured icing sugar. Now, I've made a kilo because I've got a little bit that I want to turn pink to just put a bit of design on the top of the cake. So I have a buttercream already made. So that's 250 grams of butter to 500 grams of icing sugar. 
So you can make that in any multiple. So if you wanted to double up, you could do 500 butter and a kilo of icing well, sugar. That's what I've done or tonight. you I've... could do half that or even less. Yeah, I've done a kilo because I found the kilo for this size cake, it's uh, managed to fill it, crumb coat it, then I coated the outside with the second coat and it also left a bit over that I could colour pink. I've just lost, I've lost my palette knife, believe it or not. Don't worry, Karen will be back soon. I'm here, I'm here. Don't worry, no rush, no <laughs> rush. I forgot my palette knife. So just a little bit. Yeah, Karen didn't know where Earthling Borough is. She used to work there. Well, close by. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm not on the, uh... I'll tell you what, I'll spread it on. Usually, I mean, I have used a piping tube as well to pipe the circles so that we got an even coat. So... What flavour have you gone with the icing sugar? White the chocolate and raspberry. I'm keeping it in the theme of the cake so everything's lovely white chocolate and raspberry as we go along. Okay. Right, as Laura says, don't forget to like and share. If you like and share our live tonight, you enter into a prize draw to win a 25 pound voucher. So those of you who liked and shared last week's live on Thursday will be in the prize draw tonight and Carol will be, I think, drawing that later on tonight. And then those of you who enter the draw tonight, the draw will be um, next Thursday. Sorry, I got a bit distracted. <laughs> As, as Maria is sending me some instructions. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Something else I forgot to do. She's good, isn't she? Thank you. <laughs> so decided, I, I like doing it that way, but I have got used to putting it in a piping bag now and piping the swirls. It just makes it a lot more even. Nice and flat. Oh wow, that was quick. You see, it's it's just easier doing it that way. It's just uh, and it also makes it a lot more even. You spread it out. Don't go quite all the way to the edges. Check this first, but it's just got only a tiny little bit of a mound on it, so I'm just going to take that off just to make it. If Maria was here, she'd be eating the cut off snow. I'm going to put that on top. Well, thank you to everybody who have shared where they're from. We have got people from all over. I think most of the people are in the UK tonight, although we did have someone in Australia and I need to run back through the comments to see if we have anybody else from elsewhere in the world. Again, any, any of you who are new, again, shout up, say hello and uh, welcome to our Facebook Live. So I'm just going to give it a quick crumb coat and then put it in the fridge just for five minutes just to let it harden up a bit. And then I can do the second coat and I'll use the Wilton 789 frosting piping tool. Well, we've got people from all over the British Isles. We've got Ireland, England, Scotland, Wales. All wow. corners are covered. So thank you everyone yeah. for joining us. 
So don't worry, this first bit doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. You just, you just crumb coat in the whole of the sponge. So that when you put your second coat on, hope there should be no cake crumbs then going into your mixture on the outside. Well, we've got Louisa from South Africa. Hello, Louisa. And we've got Tony from the Gold Coast. So that's two of you on the East Coast of Australia. They'll all be waking up to a nice sunny day. Absolutely. Well, hopefully, they're, unless, they're, unless, unless, unless it started raining. It was raining, wasn't it? Was it? When they had all the rain and it is. Hopefully, it will be sunny again now. Marie has given me top marks. Thank you, Marie. <laughs> have you passed, have you? Well, I'll probably get marked again by Carol afterwards. <laughs> How long do you cook the sponges for? Um, it was about, I checked them after about 40 minutes. Because they're, they're doing it on a low temperature. It's, uh, they just take that slightly longer to do than if you were doing it in the, the normal oven. And what kind of a knife you're using? What's it actually just, called? It's a, it's a, P, it's a PME. This is, is just a, a palette just, knife. Um, I think it was the one to cut the cake. Sorry, the sorry I didn't one, Yeah, the one to cut the cake. Do you want to just, put it, just want to just hold it under that there? It's the PME and it's the cake levelling knife. And it's, it's the 10-inch one. one. With a serrated, yes. serrated blade. Yes. Thank you. And you can you can actually buy cake levelers as well that are a bit like a cheese wire for those of you who are maybe not feeling as confident just using a knife. Oh, and we've got Maureen, who is normally in West Sussex, is in Lake County, Florida. Oh, how nice. Mm. Right, so I'm just going to put this in the fridge for a moment. Just to jump in, actually, let's put it in the fridge for me, please. You certainly can. Thanks. Thank you. So just while I'm waiting for that to firm up, I'll fill the icing bag, but I'm also gonna I'm going to melt. 200 grams of dark chocolate calibers. Now these are great for dipping the strawberries. And you can, I mean, some people, as Michael Lewis Anderson is chocolatier, they will temper the chocolate so it's dead bright and shiny, but it takes a long time. So I'm just gonna melt them and dip them. And they probably won't last long enough to, for us to realize whether they were, no. whether, whether they were bright and shiny or not. No, because Brighton, <laughs> if you temper chocolate, it will uh, stay shiny for days, but if you don't temper chocolate, then it can bloom within a couple of days. That's when you get that like milky sheen over it. It's not off, it just means it's not been tempered. Yes, Helen, Laura and Maria are very kindly involved tonight. Laura's been doing some comments and helping out, and Maria is sending me instructions and keeping me on the straight and narrow and telling me all the things that I forgot to do. <laughs> so, thank you to both of you. So I'm just going to fill my icing bag so it's ready for when I want to take the cake out of the fridge. because you just do it in like 30 second bursts. So that's my icing bag just ready for in a moment when the cake has burned up. That was your flowers. Oh. I was nowhere near that. I'm going to be using 
using a Wilton 789, which is known as a frosting piping tube. It's serrated down one edge so that when you go around your cake, which you'll see me do in a moment, it leaves oh, still. Yep. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. It leaves lines, so then you can use your scraper and it'll just spread your icing, your frosting, that little bit more easier than having to do it with the palette knife. You should put the kettle on for hot water. Oh, from your palette knife. Oh, yeah, it should have nearly boiled though. And your, and your cake in the oven? We've not been going 40 minutes yet, have we? Um, well, we'll be going 50. We'll be no. going 50. This is bad, that was Carol talking. <laughs> we're we're going to be here a while then, aren't we? <laughs> Right, so I've melted these calibers. It's took three thirty second bursts, so that's a minute and a half, to melt 200 grams. And even though there's still something, you just keep, with a, a spatula, just keep working the chocolate so that it melts. And that's how you do with tempering. You would actually just keep beating this and stirring it until the temperature had gone cool, I think it's about 30 degrees, and that's when it gives it, I think it's 30 degrees, it's when it gives it its nice shine on it. Calibers are available on our website in 1 kilo bags and 2.5 kilo bags. And we do them in the dark chocolate, the milk chocolate, and we also do them in white. Are we doing them in, are we doing any other colours, Carol? Uh, we are. We're actually going to start stocking quite a lot of the Calibo. Yep, yeah, we had the Calibo rep in last week. And... We're going, showed us he, we're going buying direct from Calibo and he showed us lots of different meat and products that we haven't seen before. Yeah. And they were very nice. They were yeah. very tasty. <laughs> we ate a lot of chocolate last week. Yeah. Couldn't get near the white ones though, could be Carol. No. Don't want to partial for those. There's a few cut comments about Wendy Campion buying too many things. <laughs> <laughs> So, do you want to just talk about classes, John, about the deals we've got coming up? The first class we've got is myself next Wednesday on the Cupcake Bouquet class. So, if anybody wants to come up on the Cupcake Bouquet class, we're going to make a 24 Cupcake Bouquet. Um, it's £149 for the glass, and I am prepared to break it up into three payments. So, £50 this month, £50 next month, £50 in March. I've got classes in February and March. The same applies for those as well. We've got Amy Archibald. Karen, do you need to say anything? No, I'm just listening. Right. No, no, I'm sorry. Just people will, if you're on camera, it'll be easier. Ah, oh, right, okay. You're right, right. You, you, you stay there. You stay there. So we've got Amy Archibald up who's doing the class as well. Her class is over half full, but we do need two more students on that class. So I'm prepared to offer um, a poor payment plan for that, which is £87.50. Now she's in on the 1st of February here in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. The, um, she's doing a free tier wedding cake. You're going to learn suede effect. You're going to learn a big copper all the way around the middle, a, a, a copper effect all the way around the middle tier and some royal icing and um, she's going to show you how to make a copper wire she's going to make show you how to make one of her fabulous roses that you can see on here um i don't know whether you can zoom in enough there mm, no okay. you can bring it over so you're going to see one of these fabulous roses this one got a little bit damaged so i don't want to do it too close but you're going to make one of these fabulous flowers loads and loads of work so that if you want to book on that class all you need to do is ring Laura in the office, okay, the, the number is on the website, but I'll tell you anyhow, it's 0161 393 5056, that's right, yeah? Yes, yeah. Okay, and four payments of £87.50, I can't make it any easier for you to come into class. Um, not lots of people do payments, but I'm going to do it, I'm going to give it a try, see how it goes. 
We've got, um, so that's uh, Amy, that's a fantastic wedding cake. Seriously, you don't want to miss out on that one. We've also got um, Emily in. She's got one place left available. That class is uh, £199, so four payments of £50. On the 1st of March, isn't 1st it? 1st of March, that one. We've got Natalie Porter in, who's got three classes. So, you know, I've got a lady who's already said to me, Carol wants to book all three, and then she's just going to split that payment by four, maybe six, but I'll do that. I've got Georgie Godbold in. So if you want to do classes, you've got no excuses. I'm prepared to help you. All you've got to do is ring Laura in the office, tell her which classes you want to go on, book on, pay your first payment, and then every payment has to be each month after. It can't be six months after, it's each month after. I can't be any fairer than that. And I want to get you in on these classes, and I really want to get you in to see Michael as well, because I think it's gonna be, I, th I think all the classes are gonna be great, but do come and join us, yeah? So Karen, what do you need to do? What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the chocolate, the chocolate strawberry, because I'm just gonna do the final Looks course. fantastic. Well done. Missed it. <laughs> this is this is just a crumb coat bit. Yes, yeah, fantastic. Let's get it onto there a bit. Left it over your palette. Yeah, it's on this it's on this board because I didn't have I forgot to get myself a cake card. You know what I'm like. <laughs> he said, Karen, get everything you need. And I didn't. <laughs> so now I'm gonna start generally all right here. Uh, yeah. Oh, I need a, I need a turntable, so otherwise I'll, I'll be chasing the camera around. I'm using the white turntable. We do sell the cake starter turntable, so it just makes it a lot easier. So Karen was full of information and told us everything that she needed to go on the Facebook wish list, and I am here putting everything in. I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, have you got a slip mat, please, Carol? Because I thought me Kate was going to leave the turntable then. <laughs> That's all I need, chasing it round. And um, I just want to apologise over the weekend with the issues that we had with our website. All the fun of moving from Australia. So our website was hosted in Australia. Uh, we decided that we wanted to move it here to the UK so that we could speak to people during normal hours instead of in the middle of the night. And uh, we've had loads of fun and games with it, okay? So thank you all of you for keeping, you know, bearing, bearing with us. It's been an absolute heartbreaker for John and I, believe me. And I have worked on that website all weekend. I feel as though I know every member of staff in the company that hosts our website. Um, but it all seems stable and happy at the moment. Fingers crossed, arms, legs and everything else. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I must have decided to, I was a bit generous with taking some buttercream out before. So this will be alright though because once I've um, scraped it there'll be more than enough on there. So I've got my Sugar Sisters scraper. Can't be a stainless steel scraper because it's sturdy enough in your hand and it's easy enough to use. So just put it flat against the board and the cake and then just keep, just go round. See anything a little you see like little bits that need a little bit more just cement it in because us cake decorators are like builders as well we know how to cement and plaster <laughs> I'm just gonna put a bit more on the top okay. 
See, the top's not going to need absolutely loads on because it is having the photo cake image put on the top, but I just want to have a nice covering on that. A beautiful cake, Karen. Thank you. John? Uh, no, not at the moment. How are we doing with our liking shares? Well, we've, we've done it a couple of times, but those of you who have missed it, if you like and share the Facebook Live tonight, you enter into a prize draw to win a £25 sugar and crumbs voucher. Uh, those of you who entered the draw last Thursday, the draw will take place tonight. Carol will be doing that later. And those of you who enter tonight, the draw will take place next Thursday. The scraper that Karen was using was the Sugar Sisters 10 inch scraper, which we sell. And here is the, the image of that on the screen at the moment. Uh, Karen has also been using, uh, or will be using, some of the Photo Cake edible printing. There's lots and lots of different designs. I think there's something like 980 different <laughs> options on the website. So that will keep people busy for a while, scrolling and through those. Some all up for you. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Don't I you do. just love that job, Karen? I love that job, yes. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is a little trip, trip, a little trick I learned with Carol. It was to warm a palette knife up and it just will help smooth the butter icing. Just trying to get rid of any, any little bits of seams that are there. about it being a little bit uneven at the bottom or on the top because I try as I might I never get sharp edges so I tend to hide them. Same with me. I do the same. I do hide them. It was really funny this technique I learned off one of our tutors that came in so we were in class just before Christmas weren't we Karen? Yes. And I did it in class I was well impressed with myself and Karen loved it and you've gone off and done it and it works doesn't it? It does I was only here helping you. Yeah. <laughs> But straight home again. Give me, that, give me that knife, <laughs> and it works. It works a dream. It's it just it's just talk. I don't even remember which tutor it was who showed us. It was on one of the Facebook lives here. It was, and I think you did it in your baking class as well. Yeah. And it was just it was it just works. Yeah. It's great for naked cakes, isn't it? It's lovely. Anyhow, Karen, are you enjoying yeah. yourself? I actually, Have you got over your nerves? Oh, yeah, I, actually I am. It's, it's, it's remembering to talk to all your lovely people out there. Well, you've got plenty to talk to. You've got 394, 396. That's my mum, she's dragging them in. Karen, we, we always go. have a good audience yeah, no. on a Thursday. Give yourself more credit. Right, so... It's not sharp edges. It's not... Try and do it a little bit like that, right. So we've not got sharp edges, but we've got the cake. It, it is a semi-naked cake, because you can see some of the sponge through it, but that's the idea. If you wanted to do another coat on the cake, you could chill this one and then do another coat so you've got your sponge completely covered. But I'm gonna put that much decoration on it that I don't need to have. I'm just gonna straighten that bit up there. I do like this palette knife method, Karen. Straight, isn't it? Yeah.
Right, so if I could get that carrot to put back in the fridge for me. Oh, John. Oops. Okay, we're back over 400 Thank again. You, you know, you. we do have a great audience in the it's Sugar brilliant. and Plums kitchen. It's fantastic, isn't it? And considering, you know, like we're not all, especially on Thursdays, we're not professionals. It's by no way, no way. <laughs> we're a great audience. Now, well, what's the difference from Monday? No, on Mondays, they've got all the professionals in. That's great. No, but we're very lucky to have just as good an audience. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's nice, isn't it, that everybody comes and watches us as well, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Because we're not professionals, and this tonight I'm doing this one to show all you people who feel sometimes feel a bit daunted about all the cakes that are on our Facebook page. It gets me the, the amazing creations that I see on there, and I can't do them like that. You? you get scared, and you all. But I just want to show that you just want to do a cake and decorate it. It's done with love, it's done from your heart, Perfect. so it doesn't matter what it looks like. That's exactly what it's all about. My family love it, I don't do it as a business, I do it as purely I'm that hobby baker. <laughs> Is it? Right, so now I'm just going to carry on with the strawberries. Well, everyone's saying you're doing great, Carrie. Mm -hmm. You certainly are. I'm glad she's doing great because we'll make it a monthly stint. The next person up in the kitchen is um, going to be Maria in February. So she's coming up on, um, when I'm away that week, and we've got Michael in the kitchen on the Monday, Maria's going to follow in on the Thursday making her macarons for you. Much slower, calmer pace than the Christmas session. <laughs> that, was, that Christmas session, that was fun, that Christmas section, session, but... <laughs> Madness. So we haven't left you all with nobody here. Karen's just running off sorting the chocolate out. Yeah, it, it, with doing the cake, it, it just started to set a little bit, so I've just thrown it in the microwave for 10 more seconds just to make it go nice and loose again. So I've got my tray, I have a bit of grease proof on. Cake crumbs get everywhere. So it's just purely decoration, rather than if you, like, all the beautiful roses that people make and the flowers. If you haven't got time to do that, you just want to appeal. I mean, nothing better than Valentine's than chocolate and strawberries anyway. I mean, no, wow. I've just scoffed seven of your lovely <laughs> strawberries. How many did John have? <laughs> oh, those were dark chocolate. He yes, he does it. Less than half of that. Well, that's because they were dark chocolate because he said, let me have one. And then he realised it was dark chocolate, so I got them all to myself. I made John three white ones. I know. No. Yeah, well, I think he's upset he didn't get seven. No, no, no. <laughs> Three was more than enough because if I had seven, I'd eaten them as well. So I do wash the strawberries and I make sure that they're dry, but leave these lovely leaves on and the stalks on. So then just gather it up very gently in your hand. Maloney, you could be banned. <laughs> What's she saying? She thinks I should be making something. <laughs> we try, I, we I, try. I, how, how do you block someone? <laughs> We do try. Can you see this all right, John? Doing the yeah. strawberries, yeah? No, absolutely, thank you. Yeah. Good. Control so, the camera, Karen. Tell him where you want to be. No, no. Right, right. <laughs> no. We're he's fine. doing a good job. Is he paying job? more attention to you than when I'm in? Yeah. <laughs> We're a good team, me and John. Yeah. We have. We've got a better audience than normal. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a rude gesture? Pardon? That was a rude gesture, yes. I was gesticulating. <laughs> To my husband on how much I love him. <laughs> Absolutely. So as you can see, they've got a nice shine on. The strawberries have got a nice shine, and they will stay like that. If you were just doing it in like overnight, they'd be absolutely fine. But if you do leave, if you don't temper it too much, the chocolate they will they won't stay shiny for probably more than a day. Well, they won't. To be fair, you have to eat them quick anyhow. Well, you do because with strawberries they start to uh, weep, juice. Yeah. They will start to weep. So. I, those that you ate before I'd made last night and they were starting yeah. to weep, so you do have to eat them. I will tell you, Karen did tell me I had to eat them. Cause yeah, they, no, they, you had to. They were 24 hours old. We've got a couple of people asking about doing some more nifty nozzles demos. So I think they are in the pipeline. And in fact, the, the Facebook Live at Crafters Companion on the 6th of February all nifty nozzles. will be a nifty nozzles demo. Yeah. Yeah, if you go into Crafters Companion for a fiver, you get a full demo on the nifty nozzles that's what we're doing 
And if you want to come to the Cupcake Bouquet class, which I'm uh, um, offering over free payments, we're using nifty nozzles in those as well. So you'll learn everything about them. And lots of you bought gold boxes and you were so chuffed that you got nifty nozzles in them. It was really lovely to read. So um, well done on those. So if lots of you want to use them. And lots of people were very complimentary that they um, hadn't actually seen them before and loved them. Just want to show you quickly. So I'm not putting that on Carol's board. Thank you. I don't cut on the board, I don't put hot things on the board. <laughs> right, so we've got the cakes ready now, so it's come out of the oven, I'm trying to hold on to it, got your cake tester, into the sensor, if it comes out clear, your cake is absolutely perfect. And these are £1.49 on the website. I'm just going to take the other one out of the oven. see it yeah always put them on a cooling rack as well so I've got them on a cooling rack I will leave them in this tin now until they've gone cold it's better because it'll keep its shape and I'll wait till they've gone cold then I'll tip them out they'll be ready for the end of life you to show them that was hot, hey? that was hot. <laughs> so there are my chocolate strawberries when they're dry I will spray out your me and glitter. Absolutely, I love glitter. So I will be glittering them up when they're dry. I'm going to put them in the fridge because it's a bit warm in here tonight. So I'm going to put them in the fridge now just so it'll set a little bit, a little bit more um, firm so I can put them on the cake board. Did you tell Maria that you were going to use edible glitter, Karen? Well, I told no, I've got, I said to the photograph of the You cake. and I need to have a chat we do, we about do. what needs to go in the wish list. <laughs> yeah, I know. And it's the, it's the sugar flare. Now, I, I don't know, I mean, I've done gold on the cake that I did last night that you saw as my uh, one that I've thingy, but I might do silver because I, I do like the, the silver one. Yeah. So I'm hoping that my cake is chilled enough now to do some decoration on it. Can I just get that while I just wash my hands, please? Yeah. Go on there, John. It's a massive cake, this Karen. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, there's nothing better than a tall cake when you're decorating it. Three no. it's Yeah. So, let's get the best side of the camera. If Mary says, she said, I listen to my cakes and when they stop singing, they are done. <laughs> you know what, that's absolutely true, Mary. Unfortunately, I suffer with tinnitus. Tinnitus? Tinnitus. Tinnitus. So, I've got a ringing in my ears all the time, so I wouldn't know whether it was the cake or not. So, and I have it actually in both ears. What, so that means they're going to get what? No, I have to use a cake tester. I have never heard of that. Have you not? No, I've never heard oh, of yeah, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, if it stops singing, they're done. Because you hear a little whistle from them. Wow. But I can't hear it because my tinnitus is so... It's, I suffer 24 yeah. hours a day screaming in my right ear. And it's not so bad in my left ear, but it's in both. Right, so I'm going to put the strip on first. Now, I'm going to put the strip round the bottom for this cake. So, these are the photo... Photo cake strips. It's the called extended strips. So those those photo cake um, images, they're on our website. There's about 970, 980 different varieties. Uh, price from five ninety nine. John loves every one of them. We do, and we have them in. There is, uh, they're in a lot, a lot of the seasonal sections as well. Yeah. So there we go. So we're going to do that. So there's round ones, there's square ones, there's strips. There's cartoons, there's sports oh. events, there's Valentine's, Easter, Mother's Day. Yep. There is an, Day. an edible image for pretty much every event you could think every of. Every sport, everything. And I think uh, we do a lot of licensed images as well. We do, we? we do a lot. We've, we've got licensed mm. images. Just, just to let you know, we do do personal images, but we cannot print any images without a license. So if you do ask us for a football club, or um, you know, 
a cartoon, you know, uh, something that we don't have a license for, pop then stars, we can't. Yeah, like pop stars. Yeah, we can't. We can't print them off. He said, right, they are, once you've peeled one off, I'll peel it off, you can see it's quite flimsy. I'm going to have to water it. Now, with, as with any product that has ink on it, you have to be really careful with the water because as I found out last night, to my horror, that my love strip started leaking because the water dripped down it so it took the ink with it. So you have to be really careful, so don't over water them. You've got to get enough on the edges for it to stick. I wouldn't thought you would need that much on. It's on buttercream. On icing it's alright, but when it's on buttercream. So, so going for the bottom of the cake. I'm going so. for the bottom of the cake. Now that word. Does John see that on it the camera? He will do, and then I'm going to turn it around in a minute. Yeah, but they can't see you put that on. That's fine, you just need to take the, you need to pull the cake towards you a bit. Right, I will it's, do. Uh, it's just, yeah, that's it, right. perfect. Thank you. And then what I do then is just a little piece of kitchen roll, just to so it dabs into the buttercream. That's where you've got to worry about the water. The water yes. on the back is not a problem. No. But if you get it on your fingers and touch the front of the image, do remember it is edible ink, and that's what's going to run. That's what Karen needs to tell you. So kitchen roll handy. Absolutely. Can they see that on that camera, John? Can you see that? There? We can, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to give it a... It's more the edges I'm doing rather than the centre. And how we do, I'd always do it on tissue because when you go over the sides, you've got water on your board. And I will wipe that in a minute. Yes, you're very right. And that's what was spread onto the... And paint. make sure you put it on the same way as the other one is and don't do it upside down. You line it up, yeah. It has been known to go on. You, you take one strip and put it on the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, that's blood, isn't it? <laughs> and once they're on, they're very hard to get off. They don't come off unless they, they, they tear bringing them off because they really are flimsy. Yeah. They actually taste nice though. Oh, they're actually all right, no, they're, they're a nice taste, they are. And I think they look so effective on the cake. Yeah. You just pull the cake a little bit towards you as well, so people can yeah. see it. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. So some people are asking, how, what, what does it actually mean by singing? <laughs> yes, it, it's like a little whistle from the cake. Please do not put your ear right in the oven. <laughs> because it might burn. It might burn. <laughs> So Maloney's put, when, it, when you can no longer hear it belting out Mary J. Blige, <laughs> it's done. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I do it two ways. I use a cake tester, but I also see if it's just started pulling away from the cake. And so, I generally use a cake tester all the time. That's my go-to method. So the last little bit, so this cake has took like two and a quarter strips. So I am just... So you, you said if you've got white yeah, wet on that. Absolutely it would it would do. Really uh, can you still see that, John, that bit there? Yes, yeah. thank you. So yeah. I'm just doing this last little bit now. Very colourful cake, Karen. So Danielle just said you can cope with treks too, and then they can be peeled off and repositioned if they need to be. Wow, thank there you. you. Thank That's you. what we like. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, We're going to learn it. tips as well. There That's great. I wish I'd known that last night. <laughs> <laughs> when my husband shut the kitchen door because he, he couldn't stand it any longer because of the extremities coming through the got kitchen. you to get that cake off that board, Karen? Yeah, I do, but I, I'm doing it with um, a cake lifter. Just looking with the orange strips on. It's all right. It will work. <laughs> it will work. So I've done that one on the bottom. Time to put the lover of my life on the top. How long have you been with the lover of your life? 31 years. 31 years. Yes, we've been 31 years this December we've been married. <laughs> Met and married in six months. Good, yeah. Yeah. And do you know which is the front that's going to go on? 
No, because I'm going to test a bit. I'm going to see which is my best one. I'm just making sure that's on there like that. Which is my best side. Well, you don't want to join, do you? No. So, that's my front there. So, I'm going to do it to... Make yourself dizzy. There we go. You may be, you may be dizzy now. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you can have the front to you because if John looks yeah. on this camera, yeah, he can see everything that you're doing, and it, and you can have the front to you. Put the, put the heart the right way around to you, rather than doing it upside down. Yeah, yeah. So 31 years. So you were yeah. married within six months of a meeting him. Yeah, met him in the June and married him in the December. Fantastic. And he's together 31 years later. Yeah. Could kill him sometimes, but <laughs> couldn't we all? So as you can see, I've put that on and it does leave that little gap around the top. Now, perfection bakers will have very sharp edges and they won't care because they've got really sharp edges. I've got really rough edges. We so know how to hide it. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. Rustic. <laughs> we want rustic and, we want, and our audience wants to know how you can hide them because we, that's what we all do. <laughs> yep, we hide it with rustic. We go just a, a simple so There we go. So that's on like that. Now, you can, if you want to, people could put, you could actually fill your whole cake with strips if you wanted to. You could do the whole of the cake with strips. I just put one on to show you how it's going to be. Because I'm also going to show you the sugar art, which is really, really good and tasty and easy to use. Uh, just let me tell you about the sugar art as well. The coating on the sugar art is not ink, it's actually chocolate, which is quite nice. Would you want me to get this Yeah, no, it's alright. You just, uh, just have to just do the, you know, the Would first bit. Would it help if you have the scissors the right way around? Yeah. <laughs> no, I just... I guess I've never seen them opened with the scissors upside down before. Leave me alone. So I've tore the back I've tore the backing off and it's covered in plastic both sides. So you can just put it straight down onto your board. Oh, we've got oh. lots of people who've been with people a long time. Well, I, 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 I lean married in six months and she, together 48 years later. Fantastic. Congratulations. Well, Crikey. Absolutely. You've got a bit of catching up to do, Karen. Yeah. Debbie met, her, Debbie met hers when she was 15, married him at 20, and she's now 56. So how many years is that? 36, 41 years is that? So I've just put my nails straight through. Well, 36 years married. She knew him five years before. 41 years in total. Yeah. God, I can't believe I added that up and got it right. <laughs> Nor can I. <laughs> right, just... that, that comment clearly went up a few minutes ago when you got your calculator out. <laughs> I, I've just put my finger straight through the butter icing, but with this lovely palette knife method, you can't tell where I've done it. You've got the best. Oh, crackers, there's loads of people have been I, I, a long time. I had what was thought was going to be a one nighter. That was 15 years ago, three children later. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> right. right, they're very easy. Let's not have a go downhill any further. I'll tell you, we've got loads of people that are only with you for six months and have got married, and we've got Wendy Cullen here. She was uh, married within six months, and she'd been married 39 years. Maureen Rawlings, 10 months, celebrated 50 years last October. So it's great, isn't it? Absolutely. Oh, that's Leslie Smith. <laughs> that's hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> Just lost me a little bit of tissue. It was here, you threw it. Oh, I don't know where you put it, lost that. There it is. <laughs> and can they see what you're doing now, Karen? We will do in a minute because I'm not. Um... I know, we need to show them how to do it. Karen, your mum was married in six months as well. Oh, it, must, it, must be, it must be a genetic thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say, it took John seven years to ask me. <laughs> 
like to take his time. Well, <laughs> our family don't rush into these things. Right, I just want to take this off because I want to show you something. I'm going to put it back again. That's what happens Maybe when you get water it. on it. Because even this is edible ink. So even it's not, so if you get water on, it just rubs off. So you've got to be really careful with these. It's like anything yeah. with the ink on. That, that one is the chocolate ink. So it, you know when I was saying to you before on the board, try it and if you're going to wet them, do them on a piece of tissue paper and then you won't have any water on your green board or on your worktop. Or anything like that. You can't get a clean piece of kitchen No, I need this. No, that's for me. Push it back on again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but don't do it straight onto the worktop because you won't be able to see where you've got water gone overlapped. And then when you go and put something else on top, that's when you wet it. So um, it's only a bit of a school girl error there, but that's through Karen's nerves being here. Nice. So. <laughs> but it's good for I did you it to on, learn. I did actually, it on purpose to show you. Absolutely, we know you yeah. did. But it's good for people to know what can happen, so and it's so, also good to know. There yeah. you go. So straight onto the tissue. Make sure your hands haven't got black on from the last one. Yeah. Then a little bit, and you only do need a little bit. <laughs> I gave up waiting for mine to ask me, so I just booked the wedding and told him to put turn up in his suit. <laughs> That's Alison Posey, Sedgwick. <laughs> Crikey, there's loads of people. Maureen met in six months, married, been married 59 years. 56. Pardon? Oh, 56 years, yeah. Your nines and sixes upside down. I know. So I've got the first one on, just to show you that one there. Now, before. No, I'll put some more on before I try and move it because it's going to be, you're going to laugh while I'm trying to move it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it, Karen. <laughs> right. This is where In, it goes wrong. The sugar products, are they suitable for vegetarians, vegans? I do believe that they are, actually. Well, the fact that they're chocolate. Pardon? I think Karen mentioned that it's actually chocolate, uh, not sugar. Well, they're, no, they're not. They're in paste. Well, you said it's chocolate icing on the top of chocolate. You said something about the chocolate cut. You said it was something it's to do got, with chocolate. It's got, um, it's got a chocolate coating. Right, well, I think we need to find out. Yeah, I'll find out for you. All the sugar ribbons are suitable for vegetarians and vegans. The plaques, I will find out for you what it's got on. I'm sure Maria has put it in the recipe, so I shall have a look now in the ingredients. Elizabeth James says, same as you, Carol, seven years, and have the cheek to ask in the registry office, do you think we're rushing things? <laughs> <laughs> A man after my own heart. We should start next time. We should ask everybody how they were proposed to. Let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine was dead romantic, if anybody wants to know. No, you don't. <laughs> I, I, every time we go past Gretna Green on the way to Ireland, I always say to John, I want to get married there. Seven years on, seven and a half years on, he said to me on the way back from Ireland, do you want to pop in Gretna Green? I went, what for? He said, I thought you want to get married there. End of. <laughs> <laughs> we shot straight in. I booked it. We were married within three months. <laughs> Before he had a chance to change his mind. <laughs> and you've loved every moment, haven't you, love? John. Yes. <laughs> Well, mine was nice. John, uh, I was moving, and John had gone to France with his friend, and he knew I was moving, and because we only lived three doors away from each other, and he came back from France early to ask me not to move. Oh. Then, then we said we were going to get married. We've got the ring, and he took me on the canal to give me the ring, and I slipped, and he ended up in court. <sighs> I'm just looking at the um, what it's suitable for. Yeah, Karen for. said, I think it's not actual chocolate, but it doesn't mention suitability for vegans. No, it doesn't. I'm going to find so out with them tomorrow. We will find we will find out and put a proper 
response on as soon as we know. I've actually had a download of the information, so I'll have a look at that. Right, I'm going to try and move on to the board now, and then I can finish doing the piping, because now I'm, now oh, I'm nervous. It's chocolate imitation, isn't it? What do you say? Is this the nervous bit, Karen? This is the nervous bit now, yeah. Would you like any help? <laughs> Uh, you need to have your ribbon to the back now, don't you? Yeah, ribbon to the back, so that's my yeah. nice bit. Yeah, maybe. Is, it, is, it, is it my nice bit at the front, you mean? Or my yeah, nice bit nice at yeah. the front, yeah. Whew. <laughs> and we have the cake lifter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good grief. <laughs> it's one of the cake that... <laughs> Don't move this board out, maybe. Yeah. Don't pinch it. <laughs> excuse me a minute while I just try and... So just a question, would a thin coat of buttercream applied to the back of them work to stick to the cake? I would assume so, wouldn't it? Never tried it. Instead of water? I would have thought so, yeah. Karen Naylor got an engagement ring as a Christmas present. done this trick before and they're thinking go Karen go Karen <laughs> Check, honest. Well, there you go. On your next trip, then. Yeah. <laughs> my next trip, right? Well, when I tell you to raid the warehouse, raid it properly. Yeah. I know. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she was told to get everything out the warehouse she needed. But anyhow. So there you go. There you go. There you go. That was good, there didn't it? So I've got that like that. Everybody then... held their breath for you, Karen. <laughs> I was. Uh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> So I'm just going to get yes, my... back to the camera. I am, I'm coming to the camera. So I'm just going to move the cake. You do realise you're working here tomorrow now and not at the office, cleaning up this kitchen. Nah. <laughs> Maria? John, can I have Karen here tomorrow, cleaning up this place? <laughs> that gets you out of all goods in. John, I'll come here tomorrow, I'll be back for five. <laughs> no, I'll be, I'll, yeah, because I'll, I'll just come up here and I'll, I'll, I'll clean it and then I'll be back at the warehouse then. It means I get an early night on a Friday, on a Thursday. What's a cake card, please? A cake card is like basically the same as a cake drum, but literally like very thin. I think it's one and a half to two millimetres thick a um, cake card. It basically, it goes generally between layers of cake to give it a bit yeah. of extra stability. Yeah. It makes it well, lifting John, it a lot. Have read, John, have you been reading up? What's up with you? <laughs> <laughs> please, John. I've been sitting here all these years, it's hard not to learn at least one thing. <laughs> I am well impressed. Now, cake cards are ideal for in between cakes. So if you do if you're doing a layer cake, um, it's the perfect to put your first one on, do it the same, put your cake the same size on, and then you can just lift it up and put it straight onto your board. And then if you're doing the next tier, so like Karen's got an eight-inch cake, if you were gonna put a six inch on the top, then you do it the same with a six and you set it on after you put your dowel then of course. So if you're decorating a, if you're decorating a cake to put yeah. onto a decorated board, you use a cake card. Yeah. So I'm actually using a 1M. I've just coloured the buttercream. Just pick, this is just to hide that raggedy top. So I'll just do that. Squeeze a bit out. Bring it I'm, going to bring, I'm going to bring it closer to me. Yep. I'm short arms, I can't reach. <laughs> and just. Right, there's just a bit of a tip here because Karen dropped a nozzle in 
She's actually caught the pointy bits on the piping bag. Have you noticed it yet, Karen? Yeah, I have. I thought it looks quite nice. And then there's little frills coming out the side of your bag. Oh, good. Sleeping. Oh, yes. So whenever you're putting sharp nozzles into your bag, open your bag as far as you can, hold the nozzle on the end of your finger, and then slide it in. I hate to say this, but it's like putting stockings on with your toe. When you put your toes in, you roll it right down, pop your toes in so they don't catch your stockings. Well, basically that's what you do with your piping bag when you're putting a sharp nozzle in. Otherwise, mm -hmm. the sharpness will catch the bag and um, and do what's happening here. Just a little tip. Yeah, that's a good tip, that. Everyone rolling down the piping bags. <laughs> so Jim was asking how long does it take our deliveries normally to get there? Uh, well, normally if you were to order, say, on a Thursday night, uh, on a standard delivery, it would get dispatched tomorrow and you would have it within three to five days. So it would generally get to you probably latest Tuesday. Our couriers are very good actually. They generally deliver within 48 hours. We do say three to five days to give everyone a bit of a breathing time, but they do generally deliver within three, in, within, two, within 48 hours. Uh, on a weekend, obviously, if you order on a weekend, the next day means that we will dis we'll deliver on a Monday. And if you order after half past one, it means it won't be dispatched till Monday, you'll get it on Tuesday. So, John, oh, they look good, Karen. They do. Just want to find me. Have you not nicked it? Have you not took it off? No, you haven't. I thought you'd hit the sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, if, show them under yeah. the so, if I'm cleaning the kitchen, I'm using finishing sparkle. <laughs> Because I love this stuff. And you only need a bit anyhow. You only need a bit. So it's a pump it's a pump spray. Just John, have you got it on the camera? Mm -hmm. So just pump it and just let it gently. We love it. This is the silver one. It's called finishing sparkle. I've actually put the word in yeah. silver. It doesn't say silver on the packet, but just to help because some of you have struggled looking for it. And you see, and it just gives you cake. A little bling. A bling. 100% edible. Just gives it that nice little bling, and even to your bore, it just, I think it just makes your cake look finished. That's fantastic, Karen. Well, and I'm just going to place well, this. We're going to finish early tonight. You can come back every month, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> every Thursday. So as you can see, I put the strawberries on like that. I'll do it on both sides, just to bring it down. So. For you and your darling, you can have some nice strawberries with a bit of cake, a nice glass of Prosecco. Um, Gemma, give the office a call in the morning. You should have had it by now. So give the office a call. It would have been dispatched Monday, Tuesday. What day are we on to well, today? Well, we did have problems because of the website problems over the weekend. Ah, Things yes. were probably a day, a yeah. day late getting dispatched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you should, but you should definitely be getting. Still, you should definitely be getting it tomorrow. Yeah, the we're, we're closed Saturday and Sunday, so just do yourself a favour and ring the office tomorrow, Gemma. And ladies and there gentlemen, go. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm so, I am sorry that I, I have put professional bakers out there. You're probably holding your head, thinking, "Oh my God." Yep. <laughs> Very I was as well. <laughs> it looks fantastic. You've had loads and loads of love hearts. Everybody have I really enjoyed it. it and I hope that all you people who think you can't produce a cake, you don't have to know how to make flowers, how to do leaves. Something simple and effective like this will work every time. Back to basics. Back to basics. That's it. So stay there, Karen. So Cake decorating and baking and everything else is all about baking and making with love. The professional side comes later. You know, when we all want to bake, it's because we really do want to just enjoy ourselves yeah. in the kitchen. And a lot of people just enjoy it just to forget what's going on out in that horrible world out there at times. And they just want to have peace and quiet in the kitchen, music on, and yeah. just do a bit of cake decorating, isn't it? Yeah. Which is fun. And then what happens is we get totally addicted and we decide which route we're going to go. We're either going to go professional or we're still going to stay the home baker. And, and it really up to you. So on the, uh, we do have a Facebook page called The Sugar and Crumbs All About Community. Um, cake group. We're 25 members short of being 25,000 members. Wow. 
so we're not far from there. The group is not two years old yet. It's an amazing community. There's lots of help and support on there. Some of you might be shy of showing your bakes, don't. This is what Thursday nights is about. Thursday nights is about just having fun. I'm not a professional baker either, and it's about getting you guys, just make something with love, make something with the grandchildren. You know what, just try something out of your comfort zone. And on Monday, I'm gonna make a chocolate fudge cake. I've never made one before. Um, I think I'm making a chocolate fudge cake. I don't know what Maria's decided <laughs> for me. I've never made red velvet cakes and I'm making them on Thursday apparently. So, um, you know, it's just about trying it and having a great time. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the draw now. So don't forget to share, um, share, like and share to be in with a chance in the draw next week. There's already two, 82 shares tonight, which is amazing. I'm just going to find last Thursday's live. Can you remember what we were doing last Thursday? Just so I can go down and find the live. That was a long time ago. God, I've never slept since then. <laughs> um, but it wasn't cupcakes last Thursday, was it? No. What did I make last Thursday? Can anybody remember what I made last Thursday? <laughs> I have been so busy in the warehouse. Cheesecakes! Cheesecakes! Because we got it Friday. <laughs> Yes, yeah, you can do Friday, <laughs> didn't Friday. you? And um, just, just something else before Maria kills me. Okay, she put this post up. Can you see this, John, here? I don't know whether you can see it well enough. So she put this uh, post up, what was your favourite to get some interaction? And um, you chose there. Well, basically, the Seven Petal Roses won. Now, I'm not going to do it tonight, but I will do it on Monday because this is Karen's demonstration. So on Monday, when I'm doing the chocolate cake, I'm going to decorate the Seven Petal Rose because that was what was what that was one. And um, it's just a bit of fun. I thought it was great. And a lovely little, little thing that Maria yeah. did there, wasn't it? Um, so let me go and find the cheesecake. And find they, out were who I... they were beautiful, those cheesecakes. They were oh, they were gorgeous. gorgeous. Well, yeah. I, I made one. We're, we're tasting it on Friday. I went home on Sunday dinner. I'd made um, a vanilla, a, a toffee one with the ginger nut base. The kids loved it. Yeah. With the ginger nut base. Well, I will say to you, right, yeah. John doesn't really eat a lot of sweet things. And um, he was here last week. Well, you know that I put some icing sugar into the fresh cream. We did the blueberry. And um, after I'd done the swirls, I had quite a stash left. Well, let me tell you, within 10 minutes, it was gone. And I've never seen John <laughs> clean a bowl full of cream. And he, he just said, if I'm dead, he said to me, if I'm dead in the morning, you know why I've had that much cream. Really but nice. he's, he's never had, and it's lovely to flavour cream. It is delicious. Um, wait a minute. So um, the people who got our um, cakes was, the, you, one went into work. Two halves. Yeah, two halves, half a honeycomb, half a blueberry. Maria and I ate half a blueberry here. I don't know what happened to the other half honeycomb. Oh, John scoffed quite a fair bit the next day. And then we took a, a raspberry ripple to the Indian on Friday night. <laughs> so last Thursday was 110 shares. So just on this camera now, there's 110 shares. Don't know whether you can see there. So I'm just going to get them all up. So I've just got to do this so that they start loading. So what happens is I've just got to do the bounce. And the bounce is, is so that we can... You'll notice that more and more names are coming on, so let's just do that. And then it loads up. Are you going to pick a winner, Karen? Yeah. So, so that you can't see. I can't see a thing, it just the light shining on it. So I'll keep spinning. <laughs> I'll keep spinning, Karen. Pop your magic finger on any time you want. Right. Right in the middle of two of them. So I'm going to go for Donna Louise Andrews. Okay, so Donna Louise Andrews, you are the winner of a £25 voucher. Are we over here, John? Or are we still here? We're back here, now. Yeah, so Donna Louise Andrews, you are the winner of a £25 voucher. All you need to do is go to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go to info. Pop a message on there that you are tonight's winner um, of the of the uh, like and share draw, and Laura will send you a code for a twenty five pound gift voucher to spend in our shop. So enjoy spending, and that's us done, isn't it? It is. Do we need to tell anybody anything else, John? No, I think that's it. Thank so you. So don't forget, still carry on liking and sharing. Okay, so like and share tonight's live to see if you're in with a chance. Got a lovely message off Barbara who won last week. She, on Monday, wasn't it? Yes. She was so excited. She said, Carol, I've never won anything. I was so excited. So, and it's lovely to see people win something. And it's nice when we know them yeah. as well. And it's nice with the people we don't know and we find out that like, they're regulars and they watch all the time, which is great because lots of you keep yourself very quiet. 
So I will be back in the kitchen on Monday. Um, as I said, I'm making a chocolate cake on Monday. I'll do that little nozzle thing, the seven petal rose. Um, I'm just thinking tomorrow I might do a little live on putting cupcake boxes together. So yesterday we had to do some little videos for Maria and um, it was putting cupcake boxes together and extension corners and a transport box. I wanted to show you what one of those was. So if anybody's interested, round about 11 o'clock, you know, lots of you know how to put cupcake box together. It is easy, but a lot of you don't know what extension corners are or what the extension bit is for a size of a cake. And to be fair, Maria didn't know. No. And she's been working for us nearly three years. She didn't know what they did. She didn't even know how they went together. So I'll probably be up for about 20 minutes showing you how to pop those. So if you're around at 11 o'clock tomorrow, pop over and have a watch and we'll have a little chat and natter then. And then otherwise, oh, the cakes. Has it. Just not to show them one, just want to show yep. them. Forgot to show you the one she made earlier. Then they, they come out like that, and then we've got that one. They're lovely. Get your knife, Karen. You can. We'll have a slice now. And you, there you Super. go. So, that's your, so you see, they're pretty much yeah. level. Yeah, get your knife. Would you like the lady? Because <laughs> we'll stick it together <laughs> after. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I'm going to do with this? Is this the, the vanilla latte one? No, this is the white chocolate and raspberry one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right. Um, <clears throat> do you know what I like doing with these? Just sponge cake. Um, I just like making a water icing and um, a water icing afterwards and just glazing it all after. Just making sure it was cooked. <laughs> cooked <blind>. <laughs> of course <laughs> it'd be cooked. Yeah. Look how lovely that is. Isn't that and lovely? And with using the icing sugar, it does make your sponge very light and airy. So we can't make this cake because no. Oh, that's gorgeous! Oh, that white chocolate is lovely. <laughs> I'm saying that with surprise. <laughs> right, I'll tell you. Yeah. You can. Re I've never had the white. Ch is it white chocolate raspberry? Yes, it is. It's nice, mm. isn't it? I've actually never tasted that in the sponge. It's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I like it. It's my own product, and even I didn't know. But I do love the vanilla vanilla latte. If I'm really honest. <laughs> And I like to put that in and then just drizzle it all over with vanilla latte, just water icing over the top and it's yeah. gorgeous. Very simple cake. Well done, Karen. Thank you. Right, for those who can be bothered to be around at 11 o'clock tomorrow, I'll show you how to put cake boxes together and extension corners and everything else. And for those who are not around, we'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Thanks, John. Bye Thank away. you. Bye, everyone. Bye.